Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your 2021 reading. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about what is in store for us to see what 2021 is going to bring. I am so excited. I'm just going to show you the decks I'm going to be using. Um, you guys, um, you can apply this reading to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some even your Venus sign. And you guys know I always like to speak to our cross watchers. So hello to our cross watchers. You guys, you're going to love this reading. Um, I'm going to do some clarifying in this reading. There's not going to be an extender for this because we're just going to get very, very deep into what is going to be happening for each sign for 2021. Um, I'm going to be pulling a card that's going to kind of be your theme for the year. And then we're going to get into breaking down each month. You guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that little bell. And every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Um, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. You guys, it helps push those readings out a little further. Join our Patreon. We got a lot of great things going on over there. And I do private readings. So you can contact me for that as well. All right, let's get going. I'm excited. 2021, we are ready to say goodbye to 2020. Okay, now on to your reading. Hello, my Virgos. Okay, you guys, I am here for your annual reading. This reading will, um, give you insight on what to expect for 2021. The first part that I pull will be your overarching theme for 2021. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually ask Spirit to give us 12 cards, which will be a card for every month for 2021. And um, if I get more than 12, I'm only going to accept the first 12. And so far, we have been given exactly what we've asked for, okay? So let's just get right into your reading. Let's see how your 2021 from our Virgos is going to be. All right. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as it relates to 2021. What messages need to go forth for our Virgos? Okay, there it is. I 12, getting this from the Psychic Tarot, the first 12 cards, one representing each month, okay? Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universal, messages needed to go for the sign of Virgo. As it relates to 2021, please give us a card for each month, only one 12 cards. One card representing each month of 2021. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, thank you. Cards, please. Okay. January. Eleven more cards, please. Eleven more cards, thank you. Ten more cards, thank you. Ten more cards, actually just fell out. I'm going to actually take those. No, nope, Spirit said don't take them. That was a mistake. Okay. Ten more cards, please. Ten more cards for Rebecca. Ten more cards for Rebecca. Ten more. Thank you. So we have some flippers. Alright. We need six more for 2021 for Rebecca. Six more cards, please. All right. And four more. Four more for Virgo for 2021, please. Four. I'll take three more. Thank you. Thank you. Two more. Two more for Virgo. Thank you. And just one more. Thank you. All right. That was actually a flip. All right, you guys, so we are set and ready to go. Let me go ahead and rake your cards up. This will be January, February, March, April, May, if I can get them up, May, June, July, 
August, September, October, November, December. Okay, we are ready. So this is your theme. Ooh, purification. Okay, so it's about purifying. Purifying your heart, purifying your soul, purifying your spirit for 2021, right? Beautiful. All right, it's about purification. All right, so now let's begin to look at January awareness, okay? So you're going to be aware of what you need to do. You're going to be aware of your spirit, your soul um, for 2021. You're going to have um, that third eye opening. See that third eye? Um, beginning to open. Um, no, I'm sorry, not the third, uh, third eye, your crown. Your crown is opening, okay? So you're becoming aware of um, external and internal issues. That's beautiful, okay? And see, it's already starting with some type of thing because you have purification, and now we're going into awareness. So you're purifying yourself. That's your thing. What does that mean? That means you're detoxing your body. You're meditating. You're getting your mind in order. You're getting rid of, rid of all negative and bringing in all positive. February. Look at that. See? New beginnings. I mean, you are already starting with the bang. Once you go through this purification process, then you'll become aware of what you need to do. And then you'll be pure. Make sure you work on your purification. Work on purifying everything. Everything internally and externally. March. Solar plexus chakra. Let me look that one up. Solar plexus chakra. And I love that color on that one. Let me just make sure we are... Given the right information for the solar plexus. That's one you don't hear much. You hear third eye, you hear heart chakra, but not the solar plexus. So let's just see what this is about. Okay, the solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area, just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem, and confidence. Okay, so again, dealing with this internal piece. The energy center where your emotions and feelings are recorded, this chakra is associated with clairvoyance, inner feeling, which is the major psychic reception area. So you already know you're going to possibly be, um, you know, dip into a territory where you want to be, have, you know, have a very heightened intuition. Okay, very uh, heightened psychic abilities for those that are, you know, going down that path. You're going to be able to see things before they possibly manifest. Okay, let's see what's happening in April. Throat chakra. Throat chakra, that means you're going to be opening up to be able to speak. Your throat chakra is opening up to be able to communicate and tell people how you feel. You, you know, letting go of any negative energy that's going to cause you to say something that may hurt somebody and, and filling that with all positive energy. So we got a lot that you're doing. I, I, I see what's happening there. You know, with the throat chakra and and, um, and the solar plexus chakra, the new beginnings, the awareness, and starting with purification, you're having to be purified to bring forth this energy, okay? May, triumphant success. Looks like you are going to have a great year, Virgos. Looks like you're going to have a great year, but you have to put the, the time and energy into purifying yourself. I'm seeing that as something major that really needs to take place, okay? June patience okay so you're going to need patience okay after you get the success you're going to need patience and possibly because after you get success because you got new beginnings happening you got a lot of things that you're dealing with internally you're becoming aware of movements that you need to happen and i'm seeing triumphant success is, is hitting right up underneath awareness new beginnings um is right over patience okay so let's just see where this month is continuing to go so i mean so far so good let's look at july Material and spiritual prosperity. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it just looks like you're just about to have a wonderful year. And this is right under the solar plexus chakra. Again, dealing with your body, internal, external. Then This is going to be a great year, but it starts with you really making a concerted effort to deal with you. Okay? All right, so where's that, July? Well, let's go into August now. <gasps> Memories of love. So this is you possibly thinking about nostalgia, you know, experiencing nostalgia, memories of the past, memories of those that you may have loved from the past, could be romantic, could be platonic, but just you're starting to have memories. You're starting to remember, you know, the things that possibly made you feel good, possibly made you feel happy about life. All right, September, transformation, and there it is. So you're changing. Or, you know, you're, you're saying goodbye to possibly the old and possibly these memories of love. It possibly, you know, could be somebody that you're deciding to change from. 
you know, that you're making a decision that, you know, this represents that Scorpio, um, Scorpio energy. But transformation is changing. Um, uh, tr transformation is dying to something that you don't want to, you know, bring into your present. Okay? But there's a huge transformation that's happening. And it's coming after these memories of love. So, again, you're probably deciding what you want and what you don't want anyway, anymore. Possibly remember somebody that you love. Did they love you back? Did they, you know, ex did you have a, a great experience with them? Is that what you're deciding to change? So, you have to see how this is this happening. But this, again, has fallen under awareness, too. You got awareness, triumph, success, and then this transformation that's happening. All right? October. Fertility. Could be that some of you are actually birthing a baby, or you could be birthing something new, a business, a new outlook on life, okay? But this is a time of growing. This is a time of growth. This is a time of being fertile to plant those seeds. And that's what you're going to need patience with because that's falling right up underneath patience. Okay, you got new beginnings, patience, and then fertility. So that's telling me you're going to have a new beginning, but you're going to need patience to get something going. And then it's going to be fertilized, and you're going to be able to plant those seeds to begin to make it grow. November. Firm foundation. <clears throat> Once again, everything is in alignment and in order. Solar plexus chakra, once you deal with that, you're going to get material and spiritual prosperity, which is going to make for this firm foundation here. I mean, even transformation, fertility, firm foundation, everything is like falling in proper order. In December, authority. This is when your authority comes in. This is what you're saying. Listen, I have taken the time all year to do my work, and now I'm ready to be an authority. I'm ready to teach others how to do this. I'm ready to be that light that I need to be. All right? right, let's. Um, I don't see really any challenging cards for you, to be honest with you. I mean, I think this is the first time I didn't see any challenging cards, but I will go ahead and clarify uh, this transformation that's going to be coming, you know, taking place for you. But I don't see any more challenging cards that um, that you need to really be concerned with. I mean, these are uh, these are all very positive cards. You're going to have a great year, Virgo. You're going to have a great year. Alright, so let's uh, clarify. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe, please clarify transformation for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know about transformation? Please pass my transformation for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, I mean, uh, transformation, Virgo, it is clarified by Three of Cups in Reverse, Eight of Cups in Reverse, and King of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's coming forth with this King of Pentacles here. This is somebody who's a wise leader, somebody who's a wise investor. Um... Somebody that knows how to handle their money. Um, the King of Pentacles is an, an energy that's that's very solid, very practical. Um, there are an investor, like I said before. Um, and this possibly could be who you are needing to make this change from. With this Eight of Cups in reverse, this Eight of Cups deals with um, emotional baggage. You know, having to carry emotional baggage, um, unresolved issue, issues. Possibly um, with this Eight of Cups, um, this is avoidance of fear, uh, fear of change, fear of loss, and that's with this transformation. This is possibly somebody maybe you did not want to lose, okay? And you're feeling this loss, and this is what the change needs to be. With the Three of Cups in reverse, this is not really feeling support. This is feeling isolated. This is feeling alone. And again, this is coming up on an awareness and triumphant success. So you might become aware of this energy that you're really needing to change from. You need to transform from. Okay, you got these cups here too. So this is a very emotional state for you. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy coming forth from bottom of the deck. You have four pentacles. This is somebody really being blocked. Their heart is blocked. Or this is, you know, being blocked because you really want long-term security. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming forth from that. Okay, so let's see... Your final answer, advice for 2021. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what is the final advice for Virgos for the year 2021? What is the final advice for our Virgos for 2021? Okay. 
Yeah, I'm glad I didn't take the other ones. I was feeling like they were yours, but no, these are yours. Okay. Perfect timing. So it's perfect timing to really start purifying yourself, really getting in order for, you know, balancing your chakras, your throat chakras, your solar plexus chakra, getting in order. And it's perfect timing for this new beginning. I mean, this is, this is beautiful. And if you need help from others, make sure you ask. Don't try to do everything alone, okay? In 2021, if you need assistance, ask for it. Get the assistance that you need so you can continue to try to balance yourself, purify yourself, and move your life forward. This is really a great reading, Virgo. Um, Happy New Year, everyone. And uh, listen, get ready to dive in. It's looking good. Until next time, bye-bye.